In this tutorial, I will explain how an antenna works. Most antennas are based on resonance, for example, the dipole antenna. Dipole antennas are so-called resonators, and they resonate at a particular frequency. When an alternating current with frequency f is applied at the dipole antenna feed point, as you can see over here, where each element length is a quarter lambda, this element length is a quarter lambda, and this element length is a quarter lambda, then this dipole antenna resonates at the same alternating current frequency. The current flows through the antenna and bounces back at the end of the antenna where the resistance is very high. The generated current wave is in fact a standing wave. If a current flows through an electric wire, it generates a magnetic field. As you can see, the current flows this direction and it generates this magnetic field. Use the right hand rule to find the direction of the magnetic field. Thumb points to the same direction of the current. The finger shows the direction of the magnetic field. In the example above, the magnetic field direction is clockwise. If the current flows in the opposite direction, the magnetic field also changes direction. In the example above, the magnetic field direction is counterclockwise. A voltage generator is connected to this wire and the voltage is changed like a sine wave. As you can see over here. Corresponding to the voltage change, the current flow oscillates accordingly. As you can see over here. An electric field indicated by the letter E is created in the vertical plane. An oscillating electric field created in the vertical plane, see this red line, creates an oscillating magnetic field indicated by the letter B in the horizontal plane. See this blue line. The magnetic field is orthogonal, meaning 90 degree angle, to the electric field. The electric field is created in the vertical plane. The magnetic field is created in the horizontal plane. The electric field and the magnetic field are orthogonal. The electric and magnetic fields creates an electromagnetic wave, which spreads out, another word for it is propagates, in a certain direction. The electromagnetic wave is perpendicular to the propagation direction. An electromagnetic wave propagates through free space with the speed of light because light is also an electromagnetic wave. The speed of light is 299 million 792,458 meters per second. When an electromagnetic wave hits an antenna, this antenna will resonate at a specific frequency depending on the antenna length. When the transmission frequency matches the antenna frequency, the antenna will resonate at an atomic level. The electrons in the antenna gets excited and generates an alternating electrical current. This electromagnetic wave hits this antenna. When the transmission frequency matches this antenna frequency, the electrons in this antenna gets excited and generates an alternating electrical current. An antenna can be used to receive and send electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves can be represented by a sine curve. One cycle is one wavelength represented by the symbol lambda. When an antenna is used to transmit a signal, electrons will flow through this antenna. The electrons will change direction depending on the signal frequency, thus creating a fluctuating magnetic field. The electric and magnetic fields are 90 degrees out of phase, and the polarity of an antenna is determined by the plane of the electric field. In this example, the electric field is in vertical direction. This means the antenna has a vertical polarization. If the antenna, meaning the electric field, is oriented vertically, it has a vertical polarization. If the antenna, meaning the electric field, is oriented horizontally, it has a horizontal polarization. For maximum signal transference, the antenna polarization on both transmit and receive side must be the same. Otherwise, there will be significant signal loss. This is the gateway and this is the node. 
the electric field of this antenna and the electric field of this antenna are both vertical. This is good. And this is a bad situation. The electric field is vertical, but here the electric field is horizontal. There's also one thing to remember. Always place the gateway and end device at least 3 meters apart. If you use the Things Network AU 863 to 870 frequency plan, the LoRaWAN frequencies ranges from 867.1 MHz to 869.525 MHz. So the average frequency is 868.3125 MHz. This means you can use an 868 MHz antenna when using this frequency plan. Here are the other frequency plans. And here you can find the minimum frequency and the maximum frequencies. And I have calculated the average frequencies. And for each frequency plan, you can find the corresponding antenna frequency you can use. For example, in the AU, you use an 868 MHz antenna. For the United States, you use a 915 MHz antenna. For China, you use a 497 MHz antenna, etc. An antenna sends out electromagnetic waves. The near field region is the region right next to the antenna. In this region, the electromagnetic fields are sort of unpredictable. If a LoRa end device is located near a gateway, so within the near field region, it may produce strange results. Therefore, keep the distance between transmitter and receiver at least four wavelengths apart. So don't do this. Here is a gateway and here you can find two nodes and both nodes are located near the gateway. This node is within the near field region and this node is in the transition zone. And this is called the far field region. Keep the distance between transmitter and receiver at least four wavelengths apart. In this table you see the frequency plans, the antenna frequency you can use, the wavelengths based on these frequencies, and the wavelengths times four. As you can see, if you use this frequency plan, the distance between transmitter and receiver should be at least 1.4 meters, for this is 1.3 meters, and for this is 2.4 meters. But to keep things simple, as a rule of thumb, keep the distance between transmitter and receiver 3 meters apart. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.